In the middle of the night, he says he opened his window, looked right across the street and saw the car had burst into flames. Just because the business is gone doesn't mean your options are. And if you're driving a dud, we'll tell you what you can do about it. If you have ever thought about snatching a package from a front porch, just remember the neighbors could be watching you. Through the eyes of a person of an average height, the horizon is about three miles away. But that's it. The story kind of tells itself. If you look here, there's skid marks that stretch out several yards back from the garage all the way up into the point of impact over there. There is still an active scene behind me. I'm going to step around, excuse me, while I go to the other end of the camera, and I just show you a picture of what it looks like out here. This happened in a wooded area. We've obtained never before seen pictures from the investigation. We started investigating, and through an open records request, we got more than 100 pages of reports of testing for mold. They purchased a lot of dehumidifiers. 91 of them, to be exact. Purchase orders we obtained show the district spent more than $17,000 on dehumidifiers, ordering as many as 15 at a time. We've been calling the owner, messaging him, even making house calls. We went to six different Champaign Elementary schools to see if they asked us why we wanted in. To stay anonymous, one of our videographers and I switched roles. We gave her a box that had a few papers in it, but it could have been holding anything. While she approached the doors, I ran the camera from a distance. In theory, your chances of winning the lottery are the same regardless of where you buy a ticket from. That being said, based on the data we have, we can paint a picture of how well some counties seem to be distributing luck better than others. But it's going to take some math. Did you have any idea you didn't own your fence? I had no idea until you informed me. 12 of the 16 crashes involving state troopers happened on the interstate. So we asked the Secretary of State's office whether training drivers to pass and merge at 70 miles per hour should be a requirement. Teachers say sometimes the sound of knocking pipes is so loud it makes it hard for students to concentrate. Yesterday, they told everyone their client is a murderer. Today, they called for a mistrial. At what point did you know he did it? I had a strong feeling that he did it. Aaron Eads, WCIA3, your local news leader.